Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about the first project setup. How we can do the Apache Camel, the first setup, initial setup, how we can do that. Okay, so we are going to see that. Okay, so don't worry about it. We are going to use the Spring Boot application framework as a backend. Okay, so we are having Spring Initializer. Okay, which will help us to give the skeleton code. Okay, I will tell you how to download Spring skeleton code. Okay. So first just go to Google, type it as Spring Initializer. Okay. So you can see that HTTPS the start dot spring dot IO. Okay. So this is the place where you can download the initial skeleton code. Okay. So this is Spring Initializer. Okay. Let's see here. This is a Maven project. Make sure these all are uh, like selected cor correctly. So this should be Maven project. So we are going to use the languages Java. Maybe you can go with Gradle and other languages. But as of now in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about Maven project. Okay. And the language we are going to use Java. Okay. So the latest Spring Boot version 2.6.3 is available. Okay. I'm not going to use the snapshot version or anything else. Okay. So and this is the package name. I can give it any package name. Let me give it take best blocks dot camel okay so the project name i'm going to give the first camel project okay so demo for not a spring boot this is for camel okay so you can these all are like a, your own wish okay you can give whatever you want okay nothing need to worry about it okay and the packaging i'm expecting jar and the java version i'm using 11 okay so then you need to select the dependent dependencies okay as it is a maven project right you can select the dependencies so first let me select the dependency first one is web spring web actually so this this will help you to uh, it is having the embedded tomcat it will help you to run the spring boot applications okay so the second one is like actuator okay this is the uh, one which will help us to if you uh, the checking the endpoints actually if you see that so the web right so build web including restful application using spring mvc uses apache tomcat as a default embedded container okay so hope you understood right spring boot act actuator why we selected is that supports built-in endpoints that let you monitor and manage your application such as application health matrix session everything okay so like to hit the using just hitting the endpoint you can know that application is running or not so all the stops okay so that is what we just uh, choose the actuator okay then i'm going to use the dev tools spring boot dev tools this is help us to restart our application without you need to stop and you no need to restart it automatically when you are doing some code changes it will automatically it will restart provides fast application restarts live reload and configuration for enhanced development experience okay hope you understood that right so this is the basic spring boot configuration we took now we are going to take the what is that so apache camel okay so let's search as camel okay so you can see the apache camel is open source integration framework that empowers you to quickly and easily integrate various systems consuming or producing data okay i just selected that okay now if you want you can explore the project but let me generate the code okay if you just click that it will generate a skeleton code for you okay so let me go to my downloaded folder okay so i'm we can you can just extract it okay okay so i'm just copying that project folder so if you see here it is extracted inside the same folder name just i'm copying okay and go wherever the location you want i'm go, you can go, keep it there okay let me keep it my apache camel okay so the project repo so this is a place I'm going to keep it out. Okay. So I'm just copying the location. Okay. And let me go into Eclipse. You can right click that. Okay. You can import the project basically. Okay. So you need to select as a Maven. 
right this is yes, this is a maven project existing maven projects you can give the path the project path okay you can click it finish so it will automatically export that project into eclipse okay maybe if you are doing first time it will take some time to download the jars and everything okay as it is a maven right so it, it needs to download the jars like whatever you selected activators web dev tools um, camel whatever it may be we selected right all that jar files it 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 download and basically it will put into your local repository okay so that is what basically it will do so it may take few seconds to few minutes to complete it okay so based on your computer configuration it will take some time okay so just hold on for that okay in the meanwhile i will show you apache camel documentation okay so this is the documentation if you go camel.apache.org this is their website okay so you can go this documentation place okay you can see camel core okay so camel k a lot of stuffs okay basically we, we need to know that camel core okay you can see the apache camel user guide so if you see that in the last tutorial we discuss about domain specific languages what are the languages are there how java dsl is supporting okay all the stuffs with the basic code you can find it in this documentation okay so it it was very amazing documentation you can see it actually okay so then community is there if you have any doubts you can send it out a mail to the community they share couple of email ids okay so you can you can even send it out this is basically documentation part okay so for the apache camera so whatever doubts you are having you can just come and go through that okay so let me this is a, uh, if you see that this is the architecture so you go i hope you you all we already done that okay so just gone through that okay so it is still importing okay it will take some time okay so now you can see that actually so this was done right the the it was downloaded all the charts so as if you are doing the first time right so in the eclipse so what basically you need to check it out you need to check that a installed jre path actually okay so it should be pointed to your jdk okay so if you see here by default it is pointing to different one you can just click edit okay you can see that by default it is pointing to different one make sure you selecting you just go to your uh jdk installation path may be in the c drive program files java and jdk just copy this path okay make sure you give this path okay so if you are giving that path then only you can able to run it out you can just type it at jdk okay so make sure you give this path okay then let me give and apply and close okay again it will take some something and it will download it okay now you can you, you won't see any even errors as well like uh, warnings as well okay so this is what the steps you need to do now you are ready with the skeleton code if you just go inside this you go to pom.xml there you can see that whatever we gave right to download our first project whatever we gave here you can see here right so demo project for kml yeah we gave it right so where we gave it yeah so the demo project for kml and the group id so you can see the group id artifact id everything whatever we gave there right you can see the java version 11 everything okay so the activators we selected started web we selected then camel spring started right we selected and dev tools be selected and this is spring boot starter test it will stay test will come automatically okay so this is just for unit testing purpose okay so then the maven plugin as you selected maven right so that that maven plugin build build tool is coming automatically okay so this is what basically you need to understand about palm.xml maybe if tomorrow you need to add one more dependency you can directly come and add it here okay so inside this dependencies tag okay hope you okay right now now let's go and try to run this project before running make sure you need to do a build okay so just right click this project go to run as okay go to maven build okay so just give it clean install okay and click on run so okay so when you are doing right so when you are trying to do it out if you face any issue please give please 
you error message in the comment section i will try to resolve you as soon as possible okay i will reply you as soon as possible okay if you face any type of issue not only this issue any type of issue related to apache camel or if you want if some topic i missed if you want to take that topic please ping free free to ping in comment section i will take it out i will put in new video or i will give the solutions okay whatever it may be i will do it out okay so now the build is going on uh, started apache camel okay so run one failures okay zero builds okay it will take couple of minutes okay it will again it will try to download download some pending maven dependencies okay it has to at the last it has to show us downloaded successfully okay so that is the message we are just expecting let's see that okay so build success okay so we saw that finally build success message so it means the build was done so after the build get successful you can see the target folder as well okay if you just refresh the whole project you can see the target folder with the jar file was created okay as you mentioned jar right so if you see here so you mentioned here as a jar right the packaging structure you mentioned is jar not a bar so it is even creating the jar file for you okay so this is what the first project setup you down it let's go and check the codes let me go to src let me go to first camel project applications okay so you can see that this is the spring boot application okay so it you can run as a normal java application okay basically so internally it is taking care of it is using the tomcat it is running okay so using this annotation actually we are achieving that it is automatically giving this code for you from the spring initializer you download it okay hope you are fine let's try to run it and see java application run as a java application okay it will take couple of seconds only so yeah okay tomcat initialization with port 8080 fine so started started first camel project applications fine now you can see here route startup 0.0 that's fine okay but don't worry about it tomcat started ports 8080 with context path okay that is what you should get the message and it should be still running okay so we are done with the first project setup okay in the next session i will help you to do some coding with our apache camel okay so our project setup is done okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye